Hi, dear loves. I'm Nicole, and welcome to our weekly spiritual guidance for April. What day is that? April 2nd through April 8th. Already, it just it, it's blowing my mind that the year is going by just like that. Like boom, 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 boom. April already, April 2nd through April 8th. Well, we've got a lot of energy happening that we're going to be feeling in my beautiful, sensitive souls out there who are very in tune with the energy. You may not be so comfortable expressing it to other people, but you're very aware that you are a soul within a body and your soul is receiving communication that is spiritual, all spiritual. So we've got a very topsy-turvy energy that we're walking into and please view the mercury retrograde spiritual guidance out there I went into great detail about it we also have saturn retrograding we have venus already retrograding i really feel this is a time for us to use that unconditional loving energy speak from your heart and soul but be careful that you're not ignoring the signs okay we were given the awareness that there's red flags out there when that information does surface don't ignore it if he tells you he uh only has two kids and then you find out through your because you're a detective <laughs> that he's got seven you know call him on it and don't stop until you have that discussion and revisit it um, towards the end of May, just enjoy your moments now, okay? That, that doesn't mean the person is a bad person, but it does mean that it shapes how your relationship is going and you want to make sure you have that trust. If you find out that uh, she's been on a shopping spree, and these are stereotypical, I'm aware of that, but it does happen. Um, if you find out that she is, you know, she's been on a shopping spree and she's saying she can afford it, and here comes the red flag of uh, you, you catch wind of her, catch a little glimpse of her $20,000 credit um, or credit, credit bill, credit card statement, and it's three months behind or whatever it is. It may be, you know, a, a, an addiction there of, in a spending habit that needs to get, you know, under control. Um, these are those red flags that you just want to pay attention to it um, and have that discussion so that you have that communication there. This is also a time where we are welcoming, again, I can't tell you enough, I can't stress it enough, the unconditional energy of Venus retrograding. She has, she has really gone down that corridor from her bedroom being in Aries to now she's more in Pisces energy which is um, unconditional love. Pisces is the higher octave of unconditional love. So this is a time where she's enjoying her bath. She's outdoors now but she's still hidden. So this is a time really to Show your significant other that side of you, that side of yourself that is um, divine feminine, that is nurturing, supportive energy, and you want that too. So this is pampering, this is sweet text messages, sweet little phone messages, um, winks, you know, this is showing your love through um, the, the acts of, of kindness that you do, that you receive, it's all in that, that energy. And because we were shown that we're going to receive this red flag, many of us have already seen it. It's a truth that serves as that hidden blessing because then you get it out, boom, right in the beginning of the phase you're in, the phase of relationship, the level of commitment, um, or right there in the beginning of, a relationship but you get that awareness and you're able to strengthen your foundation from it okay so it doesn't have to be a deal breaker it needs to be something that that has been called to your attention and you use it as a hidden blessing or you it serves as a hidden blessing in disguise 
by the way you use it. Okay, you use it to your advantage. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So if you see something, don't keep it internal, say it. Just say, oh, what does that mean? Or is that true? Are you sure? Okay. Let them show up. Let them tell you what their truth is. And don't issue any ultimatums there in any strong tones of, you know, for a discussion that's not going to go anywhere because you want to use it so that um, it does feed a healthy connection in your relationship. So remember, we're going back all the way down to May to say, okay, so you may register in your own mind, okay, I've got a time frame and I'm putting it at the end of May where I'm bringing this back up and we're going to discuss it because now you're both going to be forward thinking, very clear. You're not both going to be going back and down memory lane and past relationships and bad past, you know, toxic connections there and fearing, telling the truth and all of that stuff. So you're just going to park it and you're going to use it to help uh, fertilize a healthy rela a relationship. So what I'm seeing is the that machine that you put over your grass as a fertilizer and all the fertilizer is going around on the grass. So let's get started with our reading. Oh no, okay, thank you. I heard, oh no. Thank you so much. So our spiritual love, thank you heavenly angels. Thank you for guiding us. Thank you for blessing us with our spiritual guidance. Thank you. Woo! Okay, I should leave it just like this. <laughs> I should leave it. <laughs> I love, love, love being a psychic medium. Do you hear me? Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so listen. Remember what they just said. So you're using it. This is the hidden blessing. You're using it. You're parking it. And this is helping you seed, fertilize that healthy energy in your in your relationship, no matter what level you're at, right? And so you don't have to feel like you gotta lie or the other person has to lie, you're not fearing it. Right? So remember, when that red flag comes up, this is that energy. Okay, what are you fearing from not speaking your truth? What are you fearing when you see that little bit of information? Ask yourself that. This is in your love life. This is in your passion. What are you in fear of by going after this job? Okay, that's in your heart and soul. It's you're something you're very passionate about. You want this. Okay, there's an intense joy surrounding the situation towards the higher octave of it. Remember, unconditional love is the energy you want to tap into. Spirit is asking you to ask yourself this question, dear love. What are you in fear of letting go? Self-fulfilling prophecy can manifest. Divine Source is reminding you to listen to your intuition and deepen your faith this week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Vulnerability. Thank you so much. Letting go, having to control. Thank you so much. Please show us. Thank you so much for showing us our spiritual guidance. There it is. All right. Whoa, okay. We just got this. You know, this is a new beginning. You're strengthening your foundation. So ask yourself that question, please. This is the spirit of the East. New beginnings. Your thought process and inspiration. Remember, Mercury begins... Uh, the, back, the backwards track. So this is the week we're starting to see where in our thought process we're going to have to look at. Remember, I want you to view the Mercury retrograde video out there and be sure to tune in to your daily. It's going to be quite shorter while I'm on vacation uh, this week, but it will be there nonetheless. 
and the monthly spiritual guidance for your sun, moon, rising, and ascendant and cusp signs will be out, but they will be out the second week of April. All right, use Archangel Raphael's guidance. That is our lover, that is our beautiful Archangel that governs our heart chakra. Relax through it. This can be very tough, very difficult transit. So this is the beginning of it. View the Mercury retrograde guidance, view the daily, view the, the weekly and the monthly will be out. Take several deep breaths. Let's do it. Raise your vibration. Exhale completely and slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. Okay. Just look at the energy here, not the human picture okay just look at the energy in your heart and soul you have that power this is a new beginning that person is not your past lover they are not the same person and your energy is changing so that you can change those patterns the lunar queen goddess Isis okay so we're going to speak about the East. With the number 10 here, I want you to go to NicoleXO.com and um, look at the spiritual meaning to the number 10. And please comment. I'm absolutely loving seeing comments there. Thank you so much for going there and uh, spreading the word. As you look towards the East and watch the sunrise, feel the gift of inspiration inspiration growing within you be aware of a new path emerging before you before you take that first step be well aware of your thoughts and energy that will ultimately shape your future as a self fulfilling prophecy let the passion and inspiration of the East give rise to a fresh start and a new horizon the winter months of inner reflection and rest are over. Spring is here, and it is time for making new plans. Now, oh gosh, that was strong. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what I just felt and what I saw was the past. And the tingling I felt were the buds. Uh, see, we have new seedlings coming up here, my children. Uh, planted their new seedlings and wanted them to be in mommy's uh uh, office to gather spiritual happiness from. Isn't that beautiful? So this, there's no coincidences in life. And those in our workshop know you are manifesting your blessings. That is using what energy spirit gifts us with. And there's no happenstance. So when this energy of what I'm reading, okay, is in sync with the seasons of now okay we just had the first beautiful uh, new moon uh, we had our lunar eclipse season kick off uh, the first couple of months of January February 2017 uh, but we also have now the new moon in Aries which is the pioneer we just had the spring equinox and that is the beginning of this new phase and so the new moon of Aries that we just had last week is the spring new moon it is the pioneering new moon it is a new beginning so I just want to repeat that the winter months of inner reflection and rest are over spring is here and it is time for making new plans begin preparing the soil and planting the seeds for your tomorrows. The East signifies that opportunities are coming your way. Now I'm seeing the energy of uh, don't, don't uh, ignore those opportunities of life mission. You are your boss because I'm seeing hashtag boss life again. And I'm seeing that you're going to see this opportunity 
uh, and you're not going to take the one that you're most comfortable with. You're taking the other one that presents a little bit of a challenge because you are experiencing your Saturn return. So I feel like this is coming towards someone that is in their late 20s, very early 30s, and I feel like this is someone coming around for their life mission career or second retirement in their 50s, late 50s to very early 60s. No matter where our past has taken us, we always have the choice to begin again. The East energy reminds us that change can bring us closer to our calling. Every day holds opportunity for growth and every moment is a gift of life. Our prayer for this week is spirit, powers of the East, divine source, fill my heart and I feel I have to, uh, Archangel Raphael tickles me and I had to stop, excuse me. And um, let me find my way back. <laughs> Excuse me for that. Spirit powers of the East, divine source, please fill my heart with the illumination of the rising sun. Help me to accept the opportunities for growth that are coming my way. The seeds I plant today will be the future for generations to come. Let me be mindful of the energy I put into my thoughts and into my life. Okay, all of this beautiful energy, uh, is, is, uh, it coincides with our daily, our weekly, and the special spiritual guidance videos that I put out. Um, I only do them when I'm guided to do a special um, video of any energy, such as the Mercury, trans Mercury retrograde transit, and I'll do the uh, Saturn return also. So look out for that as it's coming up. And I've sent Venus retrograde um, on our mailing list. So get on, get on board at INeedSpiritualGuidance.com. I need spiritualguidance.com and uh, join our mailing list so that I can share with you tips on how to handle the energy um, through your gift of spiritual guidance. You all have it, okay? So this is the lunar queen. This is goddess Isis. This is Venus. This is how I see Venus. Um, not particularly in this uh, image, but I absolutely think it's beautiful. Um, she of the celestial crescent. There is a deep feminine wisdom that recognizes the importance of cycles of rest and replenishment as essential balancing to our actions of power and demonstration. You are asked to allow this replenishment for yourself now, trusting that you are in a cycle of creation that is about to shift into a new phase. Release and enjoy the process. Archangel Raphael is tickling me again. Without having to control or force it. This is absolutely in our love lives this week. Rest. Just focus on being. That's it. Just be. You don't have to fix something. You don't have to control something. Let your divine feminine show you how to just be and just relax. Okay? There's a vastness of creative power and feminine principle in honoring just the flowing cycles of life and spiritual balance of just being ha having to be busy all the time and taking care of responsibilities, children, family, spouses, everything, work, and just resting, having that release, recharge. And that's what I'm doing this week on vacation. So I will see you Next week, I will put in a very limited daily spiritual guidance. That's going to be my challenge is to keep it short. And uh, remember, breathe. And ask yourself this. In those moments of intensity, you feel that worrying. You're freaking out. You're feeling fearful, anxious, irritable. You're ready to snap. 
What are you in fear of? Make this a new beginning. Love you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And honey, I will see you soon.